While much has been done to reduce trip hazards and increase hygiene in both laboratory and healthcare environments, there are still some areas where improvement efforts fall noticeably short. There are, however, simple and effective solutions that can help rectify this. An analysis of global outbreak report data suggests that approximately 18% of infections are due to contaminated, communally used patient care equipment. Among other things, beds and patient anaesthetic trolleys are wheeled around from room to room, while any cables, pipes and hoses associated with the equipment become extremely dirty simply by lying around on the floor. Given that a large amount of patient care equipment is connected to wall sockets, the problem of dust is exacerbated by the fact that many of the cables have an electrical field causing them to attract it even more. Dust, bacteria, blood and spilled solutions are all hygiene issues that must be contended with and in the course of any normal working day, all of these and more will cover vital equipment. When moving intensive care equipment between wards and operating theatres, it is absolutely vital that they are clean if HAIs are to be avoided. However, there does not appear to be any clear policy or guidelines associated with cleaning this communal equipment, in spite of it harboring the bacteria that cause almost a fifth of infections. While this does not indicate that communally used patient equipment is not being cleaned effectively in all cases, it does suggest that there is room for improvement. To use the old adage of Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and where an absence of clear policy leaves room for error, this ensures that mistakes will be made that increase the risk of bacterial infection for patients. Indeed, the so-called human factor was frequently highlighted in recent inquiries into NHS trusts with high mortality rates. Furthermore, the litany of cables, pipes and hoses is a dangerous trip hazard, which is extremely risky in a live operating theatre environment. The Department of Health and Human Services Slip, Trip and Fall Prevention for Healthcare Workers notes that exposed cords on the floor stretched across walkways and tangled near workspaces can catch an employee's foot and lead to a trip and fall incident. One possible prevention strategy this publication gives is the use of cord organisers to bundle cords. Indeed, such a solution represents an effective way of reducing both the infection and the patient hazard risks. Custom-made, antibacterially coated cable jackets help tidy up the cables, making them much less likely to harbour bacteria and very easy to clean as well. Cable jackets are made from an extremely durable vinyl coated polyester fabric which is microbial resistant, flame resistant, fluid, mould and rot proof. Cable jackets can be custom made to virtually any diameter required in the clinical environment. Not to be confused with cheap domestic cable management products, they are designed and fit for purpose. Using them can save your hospital or laboratory money in three ways. Firstly, they drastically reduce the amount of time your staff spend untangling and cleaning medical hoses, cables and cords. As a result, their use reduces operating room turnover time between cases by 32 to 40 percent, while also aiding infection control at the same time. Secondly, they protect hoses, cables and cords, increasing the lifespan of these products and therefore reducing equipment costs. Finally, they eliminate tripping hazards. Medical equipment hoses, cables and cords represent one of the top three trip hazards in the hospital environment. Given that the USA Workplace Safety and Insurance Board states that an average trip or fall claim costs $11,771, with additional factors such as staff replacement, lost productivity and equipment damages, increasing this to as much as $47,084, it is crucial to avoid such a significant unnecessary outlay. Queen Victoria Hospital, East Grinstead, is one example of an ideal application for cable jackets. The hospital purchased multiple cable jackets to complement new anaesthetic machines in its theatres and is very pleased with the investment.